Okay, so we're just going to pick up a rock here, take a look under it, and we're going to find... Yeah, absolutely nothing. wonder if David Attenborough has this problem. Hey guys, we're back out at the city lake I was at just about a week or two ago when I filmed the first fish of 2022 video. And I thought I'd come out today and try to replicate that video, only maybe do it with a dry fly. Yeah got out here. I've been casting for about a half an hour, 45 minutes now. Absolutely nothing. I was hoping maybe it'd be warm enough that there'd be a few bugs starting to get active enough that the fish would look up, but apparently not. So let's see if we can't figure out how far off we are for that. Let's take a look and see if we can find some bugs and see what they tell us. Okay, we got a nice looking rock here. We're just going to pick that up and underneath it, yes, yes, good. We've got a couple of, uh, we've got a couple of clinger style mayfly nymphs. We've got one right there. We'll set him down here and uh, see if we can't get him to move a little so that you can see where he's at. Yep. There, there he is. Yeah. And one thing you'll notice about him is that if you can see it in this, if you can see it in this, I don't know if you can or not, it's awful shadowed. But uh, he's got a couple of wing pads. Let's see if we can, if there's another one on here. Let's see if we can't get a better look at him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There's a good picture of him. And uh, what you want to look at on these guys is you want to look at the wing pads. And right now, his wing pads are pretty much the same color as the rest of him, which means that we're pretty early in the game. He's not really anywhere near hatching. When he starts to get ready to hatch, those wing pads are going to start to turn really dark, and they'll be considerably darker than the rest of his body, and we'll know that uh, it's pretty close to time. You'll see a lot of uh, flashback uh, nymphs in the fly shops where it's got a silver uh, crystal flash or some other sort of flash material for a wing case on those flies. Those flies are imitating bugs that are on the way up to the surface. Just go ahead and head right up to the surface because what that is is that's the shell starting to let loose on that nymph and an air bubble starting to form under that wing case that's A going to help them get up to the surface faster and B, oh he's heading under the rock on us, yep there he goes. We'll put him back in the water. And B, that air bubble is going to uh, help those wings unfold faster when he gets up to the surface. And a uh, bunch of little guys there. When he gets back up to the surface, those, uh, those wing cases are going to unfold a lot easier and it's going to help him dry out and get off the water faster. Most of, the, most of the nymphs that you see... Oh, there we go. Most of the nymphs that you see in the fly shop have got a dark wing case and the reason they've got a dark wing case is that they've got that wing case set uh, set so that it imitates a nymph that's about ready to go. He's starting to get more active, he's starting to crawl around on the rocks a little more. He's just about ready to hatch and that's when those fish are going to be looking for him because they're going to be more active, they're going to get more they're going to be more likely to get caught up in the current and be swept out where the fish can get them. These guys Still pretty early, not a whole lot going on there with the wing cases changing color. So we got probably a few weeks yet to wait before we start to see the first of them. So guess I'm going to tie on an imp and head back out on the water and fish closer to the bottom. Hope you guys uh, learned a little bit from this. Hope you enjoyed it. Tight lines and we'll see you in the next one. Come on little dude. Get off my hand. Come on. Oh, see, he likes it there. There he goes.